It was a shocking story. Three people died from gunshot wounds. 38-year-old Marites Mamaliksa, 57-year-old Isabelita Pamatuan, and 55-year-old Nick Cardell in an apartment complex along Anthurium Lane in Harmon. Through the course of the investigation, GPD has now classified the case as a double homicide suicide and have determined that Cardell is the alleged gunman. He's accused of shooting Mamaliksa and Pamatuan and then turning the gun on himself. GPD has not released what the motive may have been, however, relatives of the victims claim he was stalking Pamatuan. Over the weekend, KUAM spoke with Cardell's daughter from her Florida home, Nia Cardell, who says although her parents' marriage didn't last, he was a good father and that her dad spoke of his relationship in Guam. He told me how much he cares for Isabelita. And I don't think he would do something like that because I have an email about how he's telling her that he has a growing relationship and that he's, you know, he thinks it's very good, things like that. So I wouldn't think he would imagine harming her. Marites leaves behind her daughter who was hiding in a room during the time of the shooting while Isabelita's minor son is left without his mom. The Filipino community of Guam will be holding a meeting Tuesday evening to discuss what help they can offer in terms of assisting with sending Pematuan's body back to the Philippines, funeral expenses, and helping her son who attends school here on island. FCOG President Leibeth Nahalawa. We get a call uh, the day the incident happened, mm -hmm. and uh, the Philippine consulate contacted us saying that Mrs. Pamintuan don't have any family on Guam. And so since the Philippine consulate is concerned about, you know, our fellow uh, Kababayan, I spoke to the members and uh, we're going to uh, gather whatever resources we have. The Guam Police Department in the meantime says the case remains under investigation. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.